Hi, I'm Amy McCarter. Welcome to House Calls brought to you by CAMCO, where Kansas healthcare professionals deliver health insight. Today I'm speaking with Dr. Rebecca Reddy about nosebleeds. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Why are nosebleeds such a common problem with kids? Well, the inside of the nose has a very delicate little lining called a mucous membrane, and it has a lot of rich little tiny blood vessels that supply it. Um, they're right on the surface of the inside of the nose, so if they're messed with, they bleed easily. What causes most nosebleeds? Um, nosebleeds usually don't indicate that there's any serious problem. Um, toddlers and um, young children, including school-age children, often have nosebleeds. Um, usually it's just caused by fingers and noses. Um, older children who have frequent colds in the winter months when it's dry will often have cracked and irritated noses, and this causes them to bleed easily. Um, or sometimes children who have hay fever or nasal allergies just have an irritated swollen nose that also bleeds more easily. How do you get a nosebleed to stop? So getting a nosebleed to stop um, first requires a calm parent. Secondly, um, you should position your child properly so that they're standing or they're leaning forward slightly. And then thirdly, you um, don't shove anything up there to stop the bleeding. Just use your fingers and pinch the soft part of the nose right under where the bone is and hold that pressure for eight to 10 minutes. Um, don't stop and check to see if the bleeding stop. Remain firm pressure for eight to 10 minutes and almost all the time it will stop. If it does not, you repeat the pressure one more time. At what point should you call the doctor? So if your child has a nosebleed that lasts more to eight than eight to 10 minutes and that happens repeatedly, they should be seen immediately. Um, secondly, if your child has frequent nosebleeds, that doesn't get better with just applying like petroleum Vaseline as a protectant, they should see their doctor. Um, or if you're worried that your child has something lodged in their nose that's causing bleeding and irritation. Okay. Good information, thank you. Mm -hmm. Please join us next week for a new health topic discussion on house calls.